Hi friends, have you wondered why military tanks have these caterpillar tracks? Why don't they just have wheels like any other normal vehicle? Now this can be answered by using the simple concept of pressure. So let's explore what pressure is. To understand pressure, let's take a look at some more examples from our day-to-day -day life. If you want to cut a bread, you can easily do that by using a knife. But what if you used a finger instead? And you put some force as before. Now you can't cut it, right? But why? Even though you're putting the same force as before, why can't you cut it this time? Well, you might think that a knife is very sharp and our fingers aren't. Let's take another example. When you hammer onto a nail, it can drive in this wooden board, right? But what if you were to keep the nail this way and let's say you put the same amount of force. Do you think now it would be able to puncture through? No, right? It won't. But why? Well, you might say that you need to keep the pointed end over there. Again, the question remains, but why? To understand this, let's look at these examples more carefully. So in this example, whether you keep the nail this way or this way, and if you bang on this nail with the same force, let's say, then in both these cases, the nail will start putting a force on the board, right? But over here, because it is very pointy, the contact area is so small and as a result, all the force gets concentrated into that tiny area. But over here, because the contact area is much bigger compared to before, the force gets divided over that large area and it starts acting over that large area. And as a result, if you now compare the amount of force that appears on the same spot as before, you can see that the force has reduced significantly because it got divided. And that's why it's harder to puncture through over here. And the same thing will happen in the case of the bread as well. When you use a knife and put a force, then all that force get concentrated into a very tiny area because the knife is very sharp and has a small area. But because your finger is not so sharp, the base area of your finger is so large compared to the knife that the entire force get divided over a large area. And as a result, the amount of force that appears on that same slice of bread as before is significantly small. And so, it can be inferred that if you want to cut something or if you want to punch or something, then it's not just the force that matters, but that force has to be very concentrated. How concentrated that force is? That's what matters. And that's what we call pressure. Pressure can be thought of as how concentrated the applied force is. And how do we calculate it? simply by calculating how much the force gets divided over the area. Mathematically, pressure P is calculated as the force divided by the area. So in both these cases, when the objects are very sharp, the contact area is minimal. And so the pressure that they experience is large. And that's why they can cut and puncture through. On the other hand, if the contact area is very large, even though you put the same force, notice the pressure becomes very small. So in these cases, the pressure was very small and that's why it was not able to cut or puncture through. Okay, now let's quickly look at its units. What do you think would be the unit of pressure? Well, the force has units of Newton and the area, the standard unit is meter squared. And so the pressure is calculated in Newtons per meter squared. And Newton per meter squared is also often called Pascal. This means it tells us how many Newtons of force are acting for every meter squared of area. Now, let's see if we can answer our original question using this concept. Why is a caterpillar tracks needed for the tanks? We know that tanks are very heavy. So to lower the pressure on the ground, the caterpillar tracks are used. Imagine if there were no caterpillar tracks over here, then the wheels would be directly touching the ground, right? So what? 
Well, if the wheels are directly touching the ground, look at how tiny the contact areas are. And so, all the weights of the tank, that huge force, will now be concentrated in these tiny spots, just like a nail. And as a result, there will be a very high pressure on the ground. And that pressure could kind of break that ground. So if there was no caterpillar tracks, there is a good chance that the tank would get a little buried under the ground and it will be pretty hard for it to move. But if you put a caterpillar tracks like that, even though the force is still the same, the weight of the tank has not changed. Look at the contact area. Oh, that has increased significantly. This huge contact area now. The force gets divided and as a result, the pressure gets lowered. That's the whole idea. Now, one important thing to note is that the force that we are applying has to be perpendicular to the surface. Only then you can press against the surface and you'll apply pressure. Imagine if you had hammered the nail this way it would not apply any pressure, right? The nail would just slide on its surface. Now, regardless of how concentrated that force is, it will apply absolutely no pressure, isn't it? And so, the pressure only makes sense when you are applying a force perpendicular to that surface. And this perpendicular force is named thrust. So, thrust is nothing but the force which is perpendicular to the surface. And that's it. And now I hope you finally know how martial artists break rocks. Thank you.